if you're already selling baked goods online like cookies and cakes, then you're gonna want a website. And today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do just that. Before we get into it, have we met? Hi, I'm Micah, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own online bakery website. I know how hard it is to manage a business from spreadsheets and all of that, as well as actually fulfilling your orders. So obviously a website can help you streamline your operations and save you a lot of time. I'll be showing you the quickest, simplest, and easiest way you can take your business online. And we're gonna do it all in a live walkthrough today so you can see everything that you can expect. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cocoa Cart. So first, we're gonna start by going to cococart.co. We are going to be using Coco Cart as the simplest and easiest way to start taking orders and putting your products on display. So when you are on the website, just click start my website, it's free. And then we are gonna start by giving the name of our shop. Easy come, I can spell, easy dough. And unfortunately, that is where all the Bohemian Rhapsody puns will end in this video. We can add way more than just one product. So I'm just gonna start with maybe my bakery's best seller, which is the Don't Pie This At Home Apple Pie. But it's a great apple pie, so you should pie this at home. I'm going to upload an image of the product. It is priced at, since it's in Philippine Peso, I'm going to price it at 500 peso, but you can customize it to any currency that you might like. And does your product come with different options? For this video, I'm going to say no, but you can add things like slice sizes or like how big the pie is. So just letting you know that that is an option. We're just not going to get into it in this video. So we're going to click no for now and do your customer's order for a specific date. This is perfect if you need to take advanced orders, you just need a lead time. So I'm going to say yes. How do customers receive their orders? I'm going to be enabling both delivery and pickup. And do I charge a delivery fee? Yes, and it is paid with the order. And how much is the delivery? I'm going to set a flat rate of 150 pesos, but it really depends on you. And do you want to offer free delivery above a minimum spend? I actually do. If people spend more than 2,000 pesos, I'm going to give them free delivery. That's just some of the customizability that we can do as early as now. And we have just gotten started. So grab this at my house, yo. And lastly, what is your email? Submit. And we are going to start our Coco Cart journey. So after you put on your email, you will be asked to verify your account and then you'll be taken to your products page. This is the Coco Cart dashboard that you can expect to be spending a lot of time on. The first thing that I wanna do to set up my store is to add my complete menu of baked goods because don't pie this at home, apple pie is not my only product. So let's go ahead and add a new product by clicking this button over here. And another thing that I sell in my online bakery is seven glaze a week donut dozen. So it's a box and a box of donuts uh, go for 450 pesos. Again, you can set your currency depending on where you are located. And it's up to you if you wanna add some descriptions. For this, I don't want to do that, but uh, if you want to, go ahead. Now, I want to also uh, skip adding a variant, but if I were to add one, this is what it might look like. So when we add a variant, we can just go two dozen. And then the price is for two dozen is a little cheaper than it might be for one dozen. So instead of having it at 450 times two, I'm just gonna make it like at a 50 peso discount. So it's gonna be 850. And you can also upload images per variant uh, if you so choose. It can also come with its own description. So really letting you know that it's really as flexible as you want it to be. Uh, you can also ask customers for additional questions if they want to customize your order. For this video, I don't really have any because it's pretty straightforward and I know what I want people to sell. And then we just hit save and we have our second product added over here. I have one more product to add. It's the last but not the yeast. So last but not yeast, our last product is called the All for Bun and Bun for All Custard buns and i'm selling that for 300 pesos for two as you can tell i have a i have a very um i have a very chaotic bakery that changes its menu every day and that's okay we are going to skip all the rest of the things and we're gonna hit save 
So the next thing that I want to do after adding all of my products is I want to go and add my logo. I want to really make my shop into my own thing. So I'm going to go to settings, appearance, and we can upload a logo here for the welcome screen. And later on, we will show you exactly what this final shop looks like. So we're going to go to logo, add my easy come, easy dough logo. We're going to have a welcome title. So I'm going to say welcome easy come easy dough that's the way it goes and you can say anything you want because it's your business welcome information you can say things like how many days you're open or if you just want to give a little blurb about what to expect on your shop so that's up to you if you want to add that i want to keep it simple so i'm not going to and you can also customize the text to your order button and i'm going to do that i'm going to say add to cart now and we're gonna hit save for that. So you can sell bundles of existing products on your store and you can just do that after you've added all your products in and we're gonna do that just now. So we're gonna hit this button, create bundle. Uh, you can name your bundle or you can just give it something generic, but because we already have established that Easy Come Easy Dough is not your average bakery, we have a cute name for it. Our bundle is called Life's What You Bake It Bundle. And you can get all three of my products later. Uh, so you can just set a, a price for your bundle. You can change that later. You can also have a custom image. Get all our products at an easy price. And here's the cool part. You can start adding your Coco Cart products, the individual ones into this bundle. And you can also add how many of each you want. So it's really as flexible as you want it to be. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to stick to one uh, quantity for each product. So one, don't pry this at home. I totally, totally know what I'm doing here. Seven glazed a week, donut dozen, and one final all for bun. One for ball. One all, bun for all. I can, I can words, you guys. I can, I can words. And hit save. So yeah, we've finished setting up our products, our bundles, and now let's go to payment methods and fulfillment methods. Now, I am currently located in the beautiful country of the Philippines, so I you will be seeing things that are specific to my country, and depending on where you are, you might see something different. So in the Philippines, for example, we have um, Gcash as one of the really popular payment methods in the country, so that's what I'm going to be adding now. and. I'm going to choose automated because I want people to be able to pay me right away and I don't want to have to manually approve or check my, um, you know, my Gcash account if the payments went through. So I'm going to click it um, automated. If you do want it to be manual, you can just click this, but I highly recommend automated so that it's just like one step less that you have to do in your business. So I'm going to keep that at automated and you can add in your details here. So account type, uh, usually an individual because I am a home-based business owner. You add your account name and your payout method. So a payout method is how you prefer to get paid by Coco Card. So if you have an automated payment available, we will process the payment for the order for you and then give you the money once um, it's ready to be released to you. So for me, I do want to also receive my Coco Card payouts through Gcash, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And you can just set it up with your account name, email address, city, state, date of birth, and mobile number. And once you're done, just hit save, and you can go ahead and start adding even more things. Um, for my business, I actually don't want to accept cash orders, but just letting you know that you can, I'm going to disable cash, and I'm actually going to add a bank account. So if you're wondering what kind of banks you can support on Coco Card, you can add any local bank at your country. So just that's just how flexible that you can make your Coco Card shop. Also, I feel like I worked really hard on the puns for my business, so I want to enable tipping in my website. So we are going to have enable this and tip option we're going to start from five percent i'm going to add one for ten percent and if someone's feeling generous fifteen percent and now that we've finished setting up our payment methods it's time to do one of the final steps for my business to go live which is to set up fulfillment methods aka how my uh, customers are going to get their orders so you can find that all the way here in the fulfillment under the settings tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to enable time slots because I'm a very busy baker and I only want to send out baked goods 
to my customers at certain times in the morning. So we're going to do 30 minutes and I want to limit my order times and hours from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. You can name the delivery method. So for example, if you want to give it the name of your courier service, your delivery service, you can go ahead and do that. You can also edit your um, delivery price or you can set it to quote after order, which is where you have to get in touch with your customer and give them a quote for how much the delivery is going to cost them. But for simplicity's sake, I recommend just setting a flat fee for your delivery. And again, you can offer free delivery for a minimum spend and you can add instructions to your customer. For example, we will deliver any time within the hour that you booked. So if they pick the time slot, I'm gonna to try to deliver it within the hour. And I'm gonna move on to pickup. I am a very busy baker, so I'm going to only limit pickups to the afternoon hours. Now, here's a really cool thing that you can do with, uh, with pickups. You can set a lead time, for example, a minimum of four hours before you allow anyone to pick up on the same day. And you can also add pickup name, you can create a pickup fee if you want, and you can add instructions like where to pick it up, your address, and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, and there we go. So right off the bat, what I've already done so far means that my Coke Art Shop is ready to start taking orders, but I wanna do just a little bit more customizing, especially with the look of my shop. So I'm going to go back to my appearance settings, and instead of just adding a logo and a welcome title and all that, I actually wanna go down here and add a quick FAQ menu. So you can also add things like, how often do you deliver? And I can say, we deliver daily. Just pick a time slot and we will deliver to you within the hour. You can add as many FAQs as you want, but I'm going to keep it simple and just stick to that. And aside from adding an FAQ page, you can also add an about page, which I'm going to do just now. So we're going to go to add about us. I'm going to add about easy come, easy dough. I'm going to add images of my business and that's going to upload. Now I want my signature pie to be one of the first things that they see when they click about us. So I'm going to just drag that there and I'm going to just do some rearranging. And later on, again, we will see how the final shop looks like. You can add a description about your business. And for me, I'm just gonna say easy come, easy dough, dough, I can spell, is the brainchild from the successful brains behind Dohemian Rhapsody. You're gonna go ahead and hit save and we are going to check and see how our shop looks like online. You can go all the way here and click view. And there we have it. This is our live easy come, easy dough online bakery. And let's start looking at this new shop that we have. And I'm so excited to start getting orders. Whew, let's do this. So you, this is what the about page looks like. I really love the modular look here. You can just swipe through the product. Um, people can also click through the FAQs. It also has this automated um, like drop down effect for you. So I find that pretty cool. And let's go ahead and simulate an order for now. So click add to cart, we're gonna do pickup, and we are going to pick an order for Monday, November 7th at 4 p.m. So what would I like to buy? Obviously I like to buy everything, and for me that might mean life's what you bake it bundle. I'm gonna add that to cart, preview, check out, and you can just add your name. Yep, I'm your email your phone number. Is this a gift for someone? Technically, yes, it is a gift for myself, but also no, because it is for myself. So I'm gonna hit no. And would you like to give a tip to easy come, easy dough? Of course, and I'm a very generous tipper, so I'm gonna say 15%. And how would you like to pay? So you can see that I accept credit cards, uh, Gcash and bank transfer, which I set up earlier. And because I want to accept Gcash, I'm going to click Gcash as my payment method. You can review your order and then click proceed to pay. After which customers will be asked to settle their payment and you can either manually or get an automated uh, message that they have completed their payment and you're otherwise good to go. 
Now there's actually one very, very important step that I cannot miss out on telling you, which is right after you've set all this up, the most important thing that you need to do to start taking orders and actually start making money is to share your shop link. Now let me show you where to go for that. So if you go back to your dashboard, you can go to the sidebar and hit share and you can go ahead and copy your link here. And what you want to do with this link is you want to put it everywhere that your business operates. If you are on Instagram, if you are on TikTok, on Facebook, or whatever it is, just go ahead and add that link everywhere. And that is how customers are going to start taking orders from you. And that is it. We have just finished setting up an entire Coco Cart shop. Don't forget that you can check the link in the description box below to see the live shop that we built together. And right before you leave, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you see all of our future videos. We'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.